welcome back to my channel it is a weekly vlog today is wednesday august 25th it is about 10 36 right now i'm about to go ahead and get to my facial appointment i do have a facial appointment um today you already know i get my lashes done one week and then my facial the next week try to keep that self-care in the game y'all always know i'm promoting self-care i believe in it 100 percent you know self-care kind of y'all saw me bring this package in and it is the Lavoic air purifier. I'm super excited you guys to try this out. This is a air purifier. It's a smart true air purifier. All you have to do is get this V-Sync app right here and you can control this with your phone, which is good because a lot of times, you know, we're not home or we're on our way home and we don't want to wait till we get home to operate this thing. So I'm just gonna open it real quick to see. I'm super excited y'all, like I really, really am excited because like I said, I don't have one of these. This is a quick start guide as y'all can see. It's pretty simple. You can use your QR code to download the app or you can just look up the app right in your um, store. If you have Google Play or App Store, you can just look up the app. Once you sign up for the app, it'll show you like how to sync it. And I don't know if y'all can tell, it already located my air purifier so all you have to do is add device it's through bluetooth so it'll already pick it up in your area if the air purifier is closed it'll already pick it up it is connecting i don't know if you guys can see that i'm going to connect to my wi-fi this will tell you what your air quality is looking like mine says very good but i just turned it on i don't know if you can hear that but it's just started and this is what it looks like indoors it says very good all right so now that the air purifier is done and set up i'm going to see how it holds up um it's very quiet though and from the looks of it like i said i can just check on my air quality through my phone i don't have to like actually be home to check which is a good thing you guys can check the description box below for the direct link to this product and also the coupon code and everything that you guys need to know will be in the description box as well if you guys want to try this product out with me just go ahead and click on the link below and thank you Lavoie, for partnering me with this portion of the video Hey guys, today is Thursday. It is August 26th. It is about 2.13 and I'm home right now. As y'all can tell, it's the next day. I didn't really take you guys shopping with me or to get my facial because I honestly was just spending some alone time. I love alone time. That is like the one thing that's part of my self care. Even if I have kids or a husband or whatever, I just think alone time is so important like I do not have a problem with going out to eat by myself shopping by myself like I have no problem with that like I actually love doing that so that being said I didn't really film because I honestly don't do nothing when I go out shopping and stuff like it's not like I'm talking or anything so I just enjoyed some alone time and now it's the next day and I wanted to show you guys some packages that came in from the mail I met, ordered some stuff off Amazon. I'm about to show you guys. Also, I got some couple of pieces from H&M. They're fall inspired though, like it's strictly for fall. And I can't wait to try it on. I'm about to try it on real quick for you guys to show you guys what that looks like. But yeah, first let's see all of these Amazon packages real quick. I'm gonna get my tripod and set you guys up. So I just wanna vent real quick because Obviously, we've been in the pandemic, you guys, and this school year, we decided to bring the kids back to school. But I just been on pins and needles because obviously the school sends us updates on like any new cases or whatever. And there have been cases, of course, out here in Georgia. So I'm just like, should I just take them out of school? Like, I just don't know. Like. I do believe that when the kids are home, it's very stressful, especially if you're working, like it's very hard to get work done when you have kids at home, like they need help with work and you're just trying to make sure they're online. Also, a lot of these jobs are like, you can't have any distractions. So they're like, if you have a kid, if you have a dog, you know, we prefer if you have no distractions and it's just like, what do you expect people to do? Like, like really like, okay, don't worry about it, Susan, my dog and my, toddler on the porch locked out but i'm all for the job no like girl bye so i'm just like just like okay so cases are rising exposures are happening and when your kid gets exposed at least from my experience with the schools now mind you 
our kids are not exposed at this moment, so thank God. But when I receive those letters stating that there have been exposure, they have to stay home. Like those kids and the ones that were exposed have to stay home for 14 days. What do you think the parents is going to do when they work? Like, what what are the parents supposed to do? Like, you okay? So my kid was exposed and they have to stay home for 14 days. So I have to find a sitter to pay while I go to work. Like, cause nine times out of ten, most of these parents have gone back to work. I don't know. The world is just crazy. Like the world is just crazy. And I'm just trying to figure out like, what do y'all think parents are supposed to do? Become, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. So I don't know. I'm just venting really quickly because I'm just like, this COVID thing that's far from over and it's getting like overbearing and annoying because it's just like, what do y'all want us to do? But comment below. Um, let me know if you guys are sending your kids to school or you're doing remote learning again, remote learning again, or um, what? Because I know like my subscribers are kind of like spread out, but of course in Georgia we've already started school, but I'm very much, you know, used to starting school later because I am from up north and we didn't start school until like September, mid-September. So let me know, comment below what y'all think. Okay, so the first thing I have here... I already know what this is, this long box here. But I told you guys that I wanted to, ooh, <laughs> I told you guys I wanted to start our bath, bath bedroom makeover. And I'm going for a green, black, gold vibe. Like velvet, luxury, green and black, and a hint of like, you know, some beige or white in there too. <sighs> I cannot wait. So I ordered more of our black wallpaper. You guys know that I got this wallpaper in our um, dining room right there. So this is the crocodile black wallpaper that I have listed on my Amazon store underneath home decor or something like that. But I love this wallpaper and this is what it looks like. I don't know if I can focus on the detail. There we go. It's like just black, kind of gray, but black um, wallpaper. So when you put it on the wall, it just looks black. Like you guys can see my dining room, it just looks black. But I had to get some more of this. I have some, but I have to get some more because I underestimate this stuff. Um, when we did our dining room, we had to do two of them. And so I only had one, like, well, part of one left over, like half of this. So I just got two, just to be sure, because I don't know how much wall we're doing, but I know for sure I want the back of our uh, headboard, like that space. Okay, so in this box right here, I'm opening up. Um, I'll show you guys what came in the mail. Okay, so is that it? Yeah. I ordered three things. Yeah, I think I ordered three things. Let me check my Amazon, but. You guys, like I said, I mentioned that I am changing our bed. And let me show you guys what I purchased already before I show you guys this. Okay, so I don't believe I showed you guys this, but it's kind of wrinkled now. I ended up purchasing a duvet or duvet, whatever, <laughs> cover and pillowcases. It came with two pillowcases. So these are the pillowcases. They are black. King size, because we have a king bed, obviously. And this is the duvet, duvet, duvet. I'm gonna say duvet, because that sounds better. But um, the duvet cover, because you know, people be people be going to hand with the pronunciation. Like, it is da 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 da, okay, dictionary. But um, this is the cover. I'm trying to find the zipper. <sighs> Where's okay? Oh, yeah. So, the zipper, what I love about the zipper is kind of like it's in seam. So, right now we have on our bed the Casa Luna king size uh, comforter. It's just a down comforter. It's really nice. And for the summertime, especially now when it's still kind of hot, it, it does good. It doesn't overheat us or whatever. But I plan on stuffing that into this because we want the black one and you, like i said it doesn't get that cold out here so i don't want like this big huge comforter so i'm just gonna like you know put that one in this hopefully it fits and 
obviously have black covers now so i'm excited like i just love black black is a vibe obviously so that i purchased i'll link that below and i'll have it on my amazon store as well now this set is the actual sheet set because like i said we ordered uh the duvet cover and then the king size pillows came with it this is actually the fitted sheet the flat sheet and two pillowcases as well so I might, you know, for Christmas time, winter time, get like two king size pillows per person versus like, you know, um, just one like we have now. But this is just a regular flat sheet set, fitted set. This is just a regular king size black satin sheet set. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this, but this is like the flat, I mean the fitted sheet and then they have the flat sheet as well, which I don't know, I, sometimes, I don't know if I'm gonna be putting a flat sheet on the bed because it kinda just falls off anyway. Like, no matter how much I tuck it, it just falls off. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be, you know, adding that, but yeah, I plan on doing that this weekend. I'm so excited. I got these, you guys, as well, and I'm super excited about these. Look at this with my nails is given luxury <laughs> but look at this yo i got pillow covers okay i got pillow covers um 20 by 20 velvet green emerald green pillows because let me show you guys real quick okay so you guys remember these are the pillows that we currently have on our bed right we have gold and we have like the cream velvet color. They're both velvet, so velvet, gold, and velvet cream, right? But I had these for, from Amazon. I have these linked in our um, Amazon store as well. I wanna switch to green, so let me see if this fits in here because I no longer want the gold pillows on the bed, not for this um, you know, season coming up. I want green, black, like very dark and luxury. Feel. you feel me you feel me so okay guys this is the pillow she is stuffed and she is cute and she is big like she's giving luxury with this green oh my gosh like this is exactly what i wanted i love this cover now it looks so cute i don't think i want to keep these white i think i want to keep these black because I'm loving how the green and the black are going together. Like, I just love that. But then I like how the green, black, and white look too. I don't know, we'll debate, we'll debate, we'll debate. But yeah, guys, um, got the pillows. Everything will be linked below. Also, guys, I'm just ready for fall. Like, I'm just ready for fall and Christmas, y'all. Ooh, I love it. So I went and picked out, I kind of opened them already, huh? but I went and picked out these air fresheners the bonfire and crisp fall air oh my gosh y'all got to get these y'all gotta try them at least just try them they smell so freaking good like me you guys know i love juniper and like cedar and all that so this is exactly mm, this is exactly what it smells like it smells like a christmas tree with like you know that type of cedar would smell so if you don't like that smell then don't get it but it smells like Christmas. It literally smells like Christmas. I'm so happy I found these at Walmart. And then I also got the pumpkin spice one. This, I only saw two of them in a pack. I didn't see like the full pack, but y'all, when I say this smells so good, oh my gosh, it's pumpkin spice, but it smells like a warm pumpkin spice pie it smells cinnamony it's it's really really strong it smells like my bath and body works candle no lie i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm i swear this smells like my bath and body works candle so y'all gotta try these these are at walmart or my walmart i don't know walmart trying to set their game up i haven't been to target yet so i don't know if they have these in yet but walmart got everything y'all walmart on a good day when walmart stop they have everything so yeah y'all go check them out so we're in my office and it's kind of a little messy over there but i went to h&m obviously and i have some let me close the door real quick but i have some items that i wanted to show you let me move this back up again. i have some items that i wanted to try on real quick for you and for me because i don't know how they look i just purchased them but i don't know how they fit 
So I really want to try them on. It's just a couple items y'all can tell, but they're very fall related. Obviously with this jacket, it's so cute, but I have some dresses and a couple of shirts over there and a sweater and some biker shorts. So gonna prop my camera up so you guys can see each piece. Okay guys, this is the first dress. As y'all can see, it has a little split right here and it hugs me pretty good and tight. It is a size small and it was $24.99, but I don't know if y'all can tell, it's kind of like this ash, I don't know what type of material this is, like jean almost, but not, but it's really cute. Like the straps are right here. The straps are not adjustable. Like there's no adjustment in the back. It's just like, you know, See, it kind of is loose, but that's just how it is. You, you can't really like adjust it. But I plan on rocking this with like, I don't know, like a cute jacket or something. Like I have this jacket, which I'm about to try on right now for you guys. So hold on, let me show you all what I was talking about. So I have this jacket. I, it's like a teddy bear kind of material. I'm not sure fur type of material, but it has like these big buttons, the pockets, and then like the collar. I just love this jacket because it's like screaming fall. And then with this dress, I want to wear like, you know, some tall boots. Like I want like the thick chunky heel boots. Like I think that looks so cute. And then maybe pair it with my palm mini, which is so perfect for fall. Like Oh, I think that looks so freaking cute. Like, yes. All I need is some like knee high boots with this and it'll look so cute. But yes, the jacket was $34.99. The dress was $24.99 and they're both are a size small. Okay guys, here's the same dress in black, same split situation, same size, a small, hugs me really, really good. Um just black but it's more so like a black ash like you can really see like the ash effect like blue jean kind of ash material but it's really stretchy so like it fits your body really really good and i don't have any um type of jacket or anything to match this but i do have a flannel shirt that i got from walmart and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like again the flannel shirt you could do like a one off shoulder situation or you can do it on or you can just wear it like this um, or you can like tie it around your waist which kind of looks cute because you have like the dress and a split and then you can tie it around your waist accentuating it even more okay but I mean I don't know like I like this dress on its own as well especially with some high boots you guys like I cannot wait to find some like really high boots because I think this is gonna look so cute and I don't mean like high heeled I mean high thigh like really high thigh boots and like the chunky heel because I used to dress like that when I was in high school so I mean I used to dress like that when I was in school so I'm really excited that they brought that back but yes you guys dress is cute size small again $24.99 H&M okay guys this is the next outfit it's just like more casual I have this just in luck t-shirt it's kind of like that dingy acid looking material um, which I love like I love that acid looking washed look and it's kind of like rigid at the end but it is a size small it was $9.99 from H&M and then I have these uh, what are these called like pleather I don't know these kind of spandex pleather biker shorts i've had leggings like these from target but i found biker shorts which i don't think i've ever seen biker shorts that were this type of material they were $17.99 size small i'm glad i got the small i was gonna get extra small even though i do have some room right here so i could have gotten extra small but maybe when i wash them it'll shrink down okay so this last outfit kind of looks confusing but this is just my tank top that i had on um i freaking didn't realize that this sweatshirt this crop top sweatshirt that i got actually is like cut out in the front i thought this was the back Ugh, i'm so dumb but obviously you guys have maybe seen these type of sweatshirts where they're longer in the back and then cut out in the front so like they're made to be worn like this so if you have like a bra or something or like a sports bra or something like that you can wear this and then i got these biker shorts which i'm 
just now find out about H&M biker shorts and I absolutely love them like I don't know if y'all could tell but they're so thick like they have a thick band and they feel amazing these are actually your size extra small which I didn't mean to get because I usually get just a small or medium but these are extra small they're $9.99 I love how they feel and look so they're like a dark gray color which I don't own a pair but yeah I just thought this sweater was so cute like it's like light gray but it kind of looks lilac as well I don't know the sweater was $14.99 and then the biker shorts were $9.99 so yeah that's just my little haul from H&M I can't wait to get some more items for fall next day today is Friday August 27th and it is about 2 17 in the afternoon <sighs> you guys I'm not gonna lie I'm so tired today I don't know why I'm so tired but I think it's because like that time of the month is coming up and usually when is that time of the month coming up I'm just drained like I just don't want to go anywhere I just kind of want to like stay in my bed and not do anything but I'm not feeling so up to it but I am currently about to go to home goods in target and you know all those stores that are right by each other because i just said i want to just lay in my bed all day but i have to like get my bed together so let me show you guys what it's looking like because i have a dilemma and i don't know what to do i showed you guys yesterday hold on let me put the blinds on let me open up the blinds because it's really dark okay so as y'all can see i switched the comforter set it's the satin black one which i do love but you guys i'm having trouble with the pillow um i don't know if i should take away this white and cover it with like a black accent pillow or some type of design because the white is just throwing me off i know the white balances out the curtains but in my opinion, it just looks so tacky. Like, I just can't stand this white pillow. When I take this away, when I take the white pillow away, I don't have a problem with just this. But I am going to go to Home Goods now to look for a throw blanket. And maybe I'll find some other type of pillows there. I don't know. But yeah, we're about to go to Home Goods and see what we can find. <sighs> okay, guys, I am back from the store. I really didn't find much like I don't know maybe because I was tired and I, feel, I didn't feel like shopping but also nothing was in the stores like I was trying to find stuff but home goods didn't have any I didn't even feel when I was in home goods they didn't have anything and I showed you guys what Target had but and that's where I only went I only went to home goods and Target did not find any pillows or anything really no mirrors like I don't know it just wasn't a good shopping day but I did find some items, so I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, as far as items, I mean <laughs> candles. So I went to Home Goods. I didn't film in there, but I did get some candles. I want to show you guys what kind of candles I got. <sighs> At least I could find some candles, right? But I got this Red Leaf Home, which I've had this brand before. It's Midnight Pumpkin, and it's just this small little candle it was $6.99 it has a little pumpkin right here as well most of the candles I got I'm not gonna lie are like fall pumpkin related because I kind of want that you know type of scent burning through my house right now I got this candle which is like my favorite it's harvest leaves same brand red leaf home it's harvest leaves I like the way this candle looks I love the simple whiteness but like the brown lettering I love that this was $12.99 and it's a wooden tulip candle this candle is very strong it's red cedar moss balsam and spiced musk the last candle i got is also a red leaf home candle it says you are the pumpkin to my pie so this one smells like pumpkin pie it's three wick candle it's not wooden but it's a three wick candle mm, it smells so delicious it smells like nutmeg pumpkin and cinnamon and it was also $12.99. So those are three candles that I got that are strictly for fall. All right, so I actually got something from Target that was random, but I don't know if I showed you it, but I could not pass it up. And I got this beauty right here. It's this like cream vase, but let me get closer because it's not as light as it's appearing on camera. Well, it kind of is light, let me see. 
let me take out the floral because this right here these leaves were separate right yeah these leaves are separate they were five dollars this is just like these really pretty orange uh leaves but this vase oh my gosh it looks so cute i had to get it it was only 25.99 i mean i'm sorry not 20 it was 24.99 and it's from Hearth and Hand, of course. But look at the color. It's like a dark, I don't know. It's not as light as it looks on camera. I don't know why it's so bright. <laughs> Let me bring it close. Can y'all see that? It's just a pretty, there we go. It's like a pretty vase. It is kind of light, but it's just not white, white. I love this. Like, I just think it looks so good in this. Um, I just think this face is so cute and with this uh leaf in it oh i just think that it just looks so cute for fall i don't know where i'm putting this at i kind of want to put it on the fireplace let me show you guys i don't know where to put this at i want to do something with this vase but i don't know where to put it at hmm. okay so i actually love this setup better <laughs> i cut um the tag off you guys i had this tag on here that said grateful this uh wooden leaf but i think for the dining room i mean but i think for the kitchen area i i don't think that wooden leaf goes right on this so what i did was i switched out bases basically i took out the pompous grass which is right here which i think this vase looks so gorgeous in this area like I just think it just goes together so well. I don't know, like, I just love it in this area. It looks so, oh, it just looks so classy and modern the way I love. All right, so yeah, this is just my little decor for fall. I think it's cute and I'm gonna keep it like this unless I see another pumpkin, which I did see at Target, but I like the white together. Like, I just love the white. Y'all know I'm aesthetically anal about stuff, so. Cute. Hey guys, it is Saturday. It is August 28th and I think it's about like two o'clock. I'm not sure, but I am going out to the store because you guys, I was up last night thinking about um, our bedroom and I ordered some stuff off Amazon. Unfortunately, it won't be in this vlog, but stay tuned and look at my communities tabs here on my YouTube channel because I will be posting pictures of what I got as well as on Instagram. And then next week's vlog, I'll give you a more in-depth video of the items that I purchased and all the links. Yeah, we're about to go to Home Goods and Target just to see what we can find again. And this time I have a different vision of what I want. So let's go, y'all. All right, y'all, I apologize. Like I said, I was gonna film, but I completely forgot that it's Saturday and oh my gosh, like it's a zoo out there. It's like everybody named mom in the stores. You can't really go down the aisles. The lines are crazy. Me filming would have been a hot mess and I would have been mad because I would have been all off balance and whatever. But of course I'm bringing you guys a haul and that's the best part, right? Nobody wanted to see me like in the stores like that. So. I went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Target, and I got some items that I'm excited about, and I want to show you guys that. Um, comment below and let me know what type of like boosters do you give your kids or vitamins. They're gummy vitamins for your digestive and immune support system. This is the one I got from Target. I just got these because they ran out of vitamins and they need to like they need to start building their immune system since they've been out of school for so long. <sighs> it's just. So much to worry about y'all but i got some cliff bars as well it's the chocolate chip cliff bars they're protein ones so i've heard a lot of good things about cliff bars so i just decided to get the kids their little vitamins and snacks for them i also went to marshall's and i'm so excited to show you guys what i freaking found at marshall's so this pumpkin oh my gosh let me just Look at this pumpkin, y'all. Follow me on Instagram. I posted about these pumpkins. I'll enter the picture right here. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. But they're from Powdery Barn. And they were like ranging from $30 to $50. And I was like, I'm not I'm not paying $50 for a pumpkin. Like, um, I think her name is I am Celeste JJ. Um, she DM'd me on Instagram and told me that she found this pumpkin at TJ Maxx. 
So I actually got mine from Marshalls, as y'all can tell. But you know, those are kind of like the same sister uh, stores. So I went into TJ Maxx, didn't find it. So I went next door to Marshalls and found it. I scooped it up so fast. I was in and out. I was like, oh, getting this pumpkin. Everybody was like, this pumpkin's cute. Where'd you find it? I was like, girl, go find, <laughs> go find you some. Cause girl, this is the last one. I think I'm gonna get this. Y'all back up. So look at this. It's so cute with this. Um, twine stem it has twine with it throughout the pumpkin and it's just white and fluffy i just think it looks so modern and cute you guys know i have this pumpkin right here from home goods and i just think like these type of pumpkins are like my style like more modern not like orangey like you know just more modern so i got this i'm super excited this was my favorite thing that i got and i picked up a couple items from home goods so let me show you guys that now what they look like so these are the two new items that i got from home goods and i'm freaking excited like i'm so excited so i got this wall art um from home goods i don't know what it is but i am so lucky when i go to home goods and find artwork because i don't have any other luck nowhere else like well i did find one picture from hobby lobby but like i always find a good artwork at home goods like I'm always finding good ones so this was $59.99 and it's kind of like I don't know like plastic glossy material and I'm going to put it right here up this um on this wall I'm going to mount it in a second y'all will see it but it looks small but honestly it's not too it, it it's actually the perfect size like it's not too big it doesn't take up this whole entire space it sits in the middle just perfectly and I'm gonna lower it a little bit because like I said I do have a bench coming all right so I took it out the boxes right there but I got this beautiful gold arched mirror you guys can see my tripod or whatever it was $79.99 I don't know if I can focus on that it was $79.99 I just love how it looks like I love the gold I love that it's pretty sleek but has this like gold effect to it it's arch like I wanted I just wanted arch mirrors in this room I didn't really want like square or oval or anything like that but more so arch like this I'm about to put this on the wall right here just to see how it looks all right so I have the artwork hung up which I'm, I'm proud to be because I did it without babe I used my little leveler and everything and I hung up the artwork and I love it it's not it's honestly not too small like it looks small on camera but it's really not because I still have a good amount of room on both sides so that it's not feeling too small in here you know what I mean and imagine like there's gonna be a bench right here and there's gonna be like pillows and decor items at the bottom so already the room is starting to feel like a different vibe like it just feels I don't know just like more coming together so can't wait till the bench and stuff gets here so yeah I think I think I'm gonna order these to go in front of the bed yeah all right guys here is the mirror like just let's just take a look real quick like let's just let it sink all in that I literally just mounted this mirror all by myself so i do have to admit this mirror is kind of wonky it is not super balanced but it took me a while to mount it on the wall because it's so heavy ended up using these easy drywall anchors from home depot and it holds up to 50 pounds i wasn't sure about this mirror and how much it weighs so i actually googled it um this brand the brand is by uttermost i believe and so I ended up Googling it to see how much it weighed and it's actually 19 pounds. So yeah, the mirror is 19 pounds. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too heavy for these anchors, but I love it. Like it's all coming together with the artwork and everything. I cannot wait till the rest of the furniture comes because our bedroom is going to be so dope. Oh, I cannot wait. And then for actual Christmas and fall time, I have so much decor items that I want to put in here and like modern Christmassy like I know that we have our living room but we sleep in here most of the time too so I just cannot wait to do like a modern Christmas type vibe in here like I cannot wait but yes this mirror was from home goods again for $79 I mean it may be a little pricey but girl all the other ones were so expensive I'm about to actually wash 
I'm about to wipe my wall off because I have some marks over here. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited. Oh, look at it. I cannot wait. I love how it came out. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm hungry. I'm about to make me a salad and just relax for the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my vlog. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below because, you guys, I have some amazing news coming up. And it's kind of like a surprise for my subscribers. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you'll be alerted whenever I post a new video. If you guys have any questions, like always, just leave them below. And stay tuned for, I guess, part two of this bedroom transformation in my next vlog. But yeah, guys, I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.